guys so i didn't even bother putting on makeup today i'm exhausted um i was up pretty much most of the night with royce he got sick last night i think because he has mucus draining in his throat like down his throat into his stomach so um and then he was just waking up whining a lot um so i really didn't get much sleep but <laughs> Yesterday, I had the plan of making their Halloween costumes today because um, they were supposed to go to a trunk or treat tonight. I don't think I'm going to take them. If anything, I'll just take Brooklyn. Um, but yeah, I was hoping to get their costumes made before that today. But now that that's like no deadline on that, I have I don't have to rush. But anyways... Um, they want to be Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. For the longest time, Royce wanted to be Miles Morales, um, one of the Spider-Man variants. Um, but when Brooklyn said she wanted to be Sally, he wanted to be Jack. So I decided I was going to make their costumes because the costumes that like um, Halloween Adventure or whatever it's called, they're like over $50 and I was like yeah I'm not spending a hundred dollars in costumes I did spend about a little over $50 in supplies for these costumes to make them but you know I saved half so yeah so it's not extremely budget friendly but it is cost efficient in the fact that you'd be paying a lot more for already made costumes so let's get into it so for voice i bought a pair of sweatpants and these are size 4t they're granimals geranimals brand and they were 488 and then i bought a black shirt to go with it and this is the same brand and it was 398 and i also bought a fabric paint marker this was like five something I'm not quite sure okay I thought it was five something but looking at my receipt it was only 224 so it might have been in the wrong spot or there might have been a markdown but this is painters brand but yeah and I already had a poster board left over from my friend who um, I was helping her do some of the cutouts for her trunk for the trunk or treat. So she had this left over, which I'm going to use to make the collar. So that is all the supplies I have for him. I'm going to pan you down and we're going to start with the shirt. Okay, so I have my iPad um, over here to show me kind of a guide of um where to put the lines and everything oop i just bumped you so i'm gonna start with the this part right here All right, so I've decided to use some acrylic paint instead. Hopefully that works better. <clears throat> Just gonna shake it up and pour it in my little tray. So I'm gonna do the neckline and then I'm going to do the stripes for this side let it dry and then i'll do the back so i need to make that line again for the neckline this is showing up a lot better
So now I'm gonna do the stripes and they start by going this way for the collar um, and then straight down for this part and then the sleeves, they go straight down on the sleeves. So now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So now it's time to add the stripes going down. And I don't even know where to start. So I guess right here. All right, so to avoid smudging, I've decided to do um, this shirt and the pants um, in sections now that I don't really have a deadline. Um, so I just wanna make sure there's no smudging and it dries really nicely. So anyways, this is the one half. Now I'm going to be doing the same to the other half. And then I will be putting it aside to dry. All right, so I'm done with the other half and now I'm just gonna move this up a little bit and I need to do um, the stripes across the bottom. So now that that's all done and the whole front is finished, I'm going to go put this on my kitchen counter to dry and before I do um, the next part. And I think I'm gonna do the back second and the sleeves last. All right, so now while Royce's shirt is drying, the, that part of his shirt, um, I'm gonna start on Brooklyn's outfit. So the base of her outfit, I bought this dress. And this, this stuff is all from Walmart, by the way. Not the paint though, the paint I already had, um, the paint brushes I already had, the glue gun I already have, and the poster board I already have. But this is her outfit. This is the Wonder Nation 10, size 10, 12, and it's just this glittery, long sleeve dress. Now I'm going to be cutting the sleeves. This dress was $6.44. This was the cheapest dress um, that I could find. I was looking at nightgowns. I was looking at other stuff, but this was the most practical and the best shaped that I could find. And it's a nice dark color. So it's not going to um, show through the fabric that I'm going to be using. Oh, I didn't know there's pockets, uh -huh. but we're probably going to be covering them. But yeah, so that is our base. Then I got this to go underneath. This is a thermal um, underwear set, I guess it's called. And it's just the shirt and the pants. This might be a little big. I should have bought one that was tighter. Oh, well, this is 10, 12 as well. And this is going to be um, her skin. So this I will be drawing like the stitches and stuff on to um, where her body is like stitched together and whatever. So that's the body part. Then, so I'm gonna put those aside because I'm gonna be working on the dress first. So I bought these. And these are fabric squares, what are they called? These are by Waverly. These are in like the sewing section. 
These are called fat quarters and I'll show you, I'll just open one up and show you how big they are. I bought three of each. They were a dollar a piece. They were marked 97 cents, but I guess they never changed the price because they're a dollar. But this is how big they are. So I bought three just to make sure I had enough. So I bought three yellow, three of the turquoise color, three pink, and three black. So all together for these, I paid $12. Then I got a pack of Sharpies because this is what I'm gonna be using to draw the designs on the fabric as well as the stitches and the stitches on the um, clothing. Now I tried to look for like a whiteout kind of marker for Royce's, but they didn't have that. And I thought this would have worked, but it didn't. So that's why we are using paint, but these should work since I, I need black lines and black designs. Then I couldn't find red, but I bought hairspray, hair dye, hair color, temporary hair color. And this one's pink. So I felt like this was the closest to Sally's hair color that I could find. I might go to Dollar General or Dollar Tree and see if they have any red, but if not, the pink should be fine. And then I bought her some black um, shoes to go along with it. Now, let me tell you the prices of all these things. I already told you the price of the dress and the squares. The thermal set, the blue like turquoise thermal set was eight ninety seven. dollars um, The shoes were five eighty seven. dollars The markers were four sixty four, dollars And the hairspray was $1.98. So, like I said, it came out to a little over $50. I believe it was like $52. 5226 altogether for everything that I bought and the markers I can use after this. And this, I guess I'll have to find a use for. Um, but yeah, so let's get started on the dress. All right, so we're gonna start by cutting the sleeves and I'm going to make them a little bit jagged because that's how they are. So it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna make them about this length. It doesn't have to be perfect because the way that her sleeves are, they aren't perfect. All right, so the sleeve is off. And that is basically what the sleeve looks like. And now we're gonna do the same to the other side. All right, so for this part, I'm going to be using my glue gun. So I have it plugged in and all ready to go. It just needs to heat up a bit. So I'm gonna take my yellow, the yellow fabric, and I'm going to make um, this part, this corner right here. So I'm going to get like a pencil or something and I'm going to measure it out and then I will cut. All right, so I have it measured out and now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut this piece right, out. So here is how it's laying. Now I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm actually, I'm gonna put something, I'm actually gonna take this silicone thing and I'm going to put it inside. So I'm actually going to start at the top because yeah but I'm putting the silicone thing down to protect the fabric from it sticking on the other side. So hold on let's see if we can't even this out. All right so 
I need to line this up with the collar. It's not completely lined up over here, but that's okay. We'll make the fabric big enough to go underneath that part. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, oop, her dress is nowhere near perfect because she is basically like a Franken person. So, ouch, it's a little hot. Get rid of that. So I'm just gonna keep going down kind of going down just to secure it all the way through. All right, so then we have the first piece. Now we'll be working on this half, which is pink. And I don't know if you can see, but it's got swirls all around on it. So I am going to cut this out, measure it first, then cut it out. And then I will draw the swirls on and then I will hot glue it on. All right, so it's all cut out and now it's time to make the swirls. So how it kind of is, and again, it's not perfect. All right, so this turned out really decent looking. I'm excited for that. This is how it turned out. So now it's time to glue this onto the dress. All right, it's all glued on. So here is how it's looking so far. I'm loving it. So the next piece is a green piece down the side. So I have this one that I'm going to be using and it also has big polka dots and stripes on it. So I will be um using the marker on it as well before i glue it onto the dress so right now i'm going to outline and cut and then i'll show you the piece once it's cut all right so here is this piece now i'm going to use a black marker and color it in. So these polka dots are pretty big. I'm going to start with this one and it kind of comes like that. It's like cut off. Now I gotta color it in pretty well. All right, so now we have all the dots and now it's time to add the lines and they go like this. They're very thin and very like, I don't know, sporadic I wanna say. Like they're definitely not in uniform. So I'm just gonna do that the whole way through. And then, nope, I kind of, they need to go diagonally like that.
All right, so here is what this piece looks like. Now I'm going to glue this onto the dress. All right, so now the blue piece is on and it's coming together. There we go, there is that. Really, really cute. I cannot wait to see how this looks all finished. All right, so here is how Royce's shirt is looking, by the way. Um, I just wanted to show this off. So now this side is dry. It's now time to paint the back part. So I'm going to be doing that next. And these just need vertical stripes all the way down the back. All right, now the stripes are all done and I can lay this out to for this part to dry and then all I have left of the shirt is the sleeves, but I'm going to do um, the front and then the back so, um, so they don't smudge. But yeah, I'm finished this for now and now I'm going to continue working on the dress. So the next part is just a little black, like triangle section. So I'm gonna take the black, gonna measure it, and then I'll glue it on. All right, so here is the piece right here. All right, now that step is done. So here is what it looks like now. So the next color is pink again. So I'm going to use the rest of this piece. Hopefully it's enough. Um, and Put it across and these have big stripes on them and then there's a little yellow patch in the middle so the fabric wasn't quite long enough so i had to cut out a little triangle on the end but here is this piece right here so i'm going to take my sharpie and sharpie and <laughs> take my sharpie and we're going to color in the stripes All right, so here it is finished. It's all colored in and let me tell you, my hands hurt from this. Look how nasty. <laughs> this was very tedious and yeah, I don't ever wanna color in huge stripes ever again. But yeah, so before I glue this onto the dress, I'm gonna cut out a yellow square that is for a patch that goes in between two of the stripes and I'll show you in a second. All right, so here's the little square and it has like little tiny polka dots on it. All right, so here we go and it's going to go, I will show you right here. So I'm gonna take my glue gun and just, just so I have I know where to stick it, okay. So now, I'm just gonna cover the whole square, push it down. We're gonna let that dry for like a minute or two, and then we're gonna draw the stitches. All right, now that it's dry, these have Stitches. There we go. And there is our patch. All right, so here is how it's looking now. And there's that patch. 
I think it's coming along really, really well, and I'm super excited and super happy with it so far. All right, so this is how Royce's is looking so far. And now it's time to do the stripes on the arm. So I'm gonna start with this side right here. And then I'm going to finish up with the ones on the back and then we will be done the entire shirt and then we can work on the pants. All right, I decided to do the sleeves on my kitchen table so that I could have them out and I didn't have to pick it up and move it to have it dry. So I will show you um, what it looks like once it's dry, but I'll show you once the back is dry as well. Um, I'm just going to like in between doing Brooks, I'm just gonna flip it over and do the back, let it dry. And then I will show you um, the finished paint job on the shirt. I still have a couple things to add to it that's not painted. Um, and then I have to do the pants and then Royce's costume is done. So let's jump back into um, working on Brooklyn's. The next piece is gonna be yellow and it's going to be polka dotted just like this patch and it's going to go right under the pink so let's get this measured and cut out and glue it on alrighty so here is the piece right here I'm gonna do those same circles I'm going to do some dots bigger circles And here we have this piece and we're going to hot glue it onto the dress. All right, so here's what it looks like with that piece on. And there's only one more piece for this side and then we can do the back and then the sleeves. So last up for the front is another blue piece. So, and I think it's just plain blue. So I will be cutting this out and sticking it on and here is the last piece for the front so i'm gonna glue this on and then i'll show you what the whole front looks like all right so here is the finished front fabric for the dress and with that little square triangle at the bottom and i did burn my finger with the hot glue gun so i'm going to <laughs> put something on this and a band-aid and take a little break um and then we'll be back to do the back all right so now it's day two um yesterday i spent a little over six hours working on all of this and here is the pretty much finished shirt i just need to add a button right here um and we'll do the like details last and then i need to add that um bow tie thing it's like a bat bow tie that goes right here and then there's going to be coattails in the back and i'm going to be using um a white piece of white construction or uh poster board for the button and for the tie and coattails i'm going to be using black construction paper um but this is so far all the paint is done on this shirt Next, we need to start on the pants. So I'm going to take the pants and I'm going to put the stripes down the front side, let it dry, work on Brooke's dress, and then paint the back and the pants will be all done. So let me go paint these. I'll go sit them to dry and then we'll start working on the dress again. So today we're gonna to be working on the back of the dress since the front, all the patches, let me show you the dress again, all the patches are on, all the pieces of fabric are on the front, so now it's time for the back, then we've got to do the sleeves, and then it's time for, then it'll be time for the finishing touches, which I will be drawing the stitch marks across um, 
all the, the um, edges. All right, so now it's time to start on the back of the dress, which is basically, I just looked up the same thing as the front, just in reverse. So I'm gonna start with the pink and I'm going to measure and cut. Now I don't have much left. This is basically all I have left of the pink. So I'm gonna open a new square. All right, so here is my piece. Now I'm going to use the Sharpie to make the same design as this, this one right here. All right, here we are, and now it's time to glue it on. All right, so here is that piece, and I also had to cut out a small piece um, to add here because this part was not covered. Um, yeah and to just meet it and wrap around in the back. So we have this part. So now next is the yellow and that is just a plain yellow piece. So I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna measure it, cut that out, and then I'll show you and then we'll glue it on. So here is this piece. All right, so now the yellow piece is on. So here is the start to the back and again the front. So the next piece is that strip of blue with the polka dots and the stripes and that is going down that way. All right so here is the piece and now I'm going to draw the polka dots and the stripes. All right so here is the colored piece and now it's time to glue it on. All right now that piece is glued on it is time for the black piece which goes right here. All right, so here's the piece right here, and now we're gonna glue it on. All right, so now here's what it looks like. Only a few more pieces to go, and we are done the back, and the only thing left to glue on will be the sleeve. All right, so, so here's the piece, and now I'm gonna glue it on. All right, it's coming along, just one more. There's several more pieces, but just one more little strip left, and we are done with the back. And here is the next piece. And here is the next piece. And then there's one more piece after that. And then we can work on the sleeves. And here is the last piece. All right, so now we are done with the back. That's what it looks like. And the front. Now there are a couple like gaps where the blue's peeking through, but that's okay. It looks almost black anyway. Um, so it kind of just looks like it's pretty much part of the pattern a little bit. Um, it doesn't need to be perfect because this is Sally where her outfit is literally just pieces of fabric sewn together. So um, yeah, but I think we did a pretty good job on this and I'm super excited. Okay, so now we have the sleeves. Then we need to cut the bottom into like jagged pieces and then draw the stitches on and we're done with the dress. Um, and in the meantime, um, I'm also going to be painting the back of the pants, Royce's pants, and then we can start on putting the stitches onto the long john. So the first sleeve is the green turquoise color and the second one is the yellow. So I'm gonna cut these out, put the um, pattern on the yellow, glue them on, and then I will show you what they look like. All right, so the sleeves were a little difficult. They're not perfect, but <laughs> here we go. The whole dress fabric is done. Now all I need to do is just fray the bottom and we are good to go to draw on the stitches and then the dress is complete. All right, here we are. It's all frayed at the bottom. I'm so excited this turned out so well. I'm so happy with it. All right, so now all we need to do is draw on the stitches and we're done. All right, so I had to take quite a long pause on making this because I was in the hospital with Brooklyn and most of you know that. So now I have a deadline because the kids have a trunk or treat tonight. Sorry, I look like hell. Um, 
I just got home yesterday, so um, I just kind of woke up and started making this so that I could have it done um, by tonight because the kids have a trunk or treat that they're going to tonight and I want their costumes all finished. And then Halloween's on Sunday, which is today's Friday, two days away. So it needs to get done. And I needed, I wanted to get the, the filming done today so I could get it edited and out so that that is out of the way. So let's continue on this dress. I just finished painting Royce's pants. Once they're dried, they're done. Um, so all I need to do for this dress is to add the um, stitch marks and then I can work on putting the stitch marks on the long johns, which really won't take long at all. And then Brooklyn's costume is completely done. And then the last thing I need to do is um, hot glue and cut out the button and that uh, bat bow tie thing and the coattails on Royce's shirt. And then his costume is completely done. So I really don't have all that much left to do. It's more tedious work right now. So let's get into it so I can get this done. Um, so let's put the stitch marks on the dress. Look at my table, you guys, from, <laughs> from doing this. Uh, yeah, I've been working hard. Hopefully I can find something. If anyone knows how to get Sharpie off of stuff, that would be amazing. If not, I might just end up getting like contact paper and just covering this whole desk. But yeah, enough of that. Let's get, okay, let's see which marker is the least dull, this one. Okay, so all I'm going to do is along the seams of each um, thing, uh, I might want to glue that down. I need to get my other hot glue. Let me get my other hot glue gun and glue these down just so that they're not sticking up. I will be right back. All right, so now I found a couple spots that I needed to glue down. So let's start the stitches. So they kind of go like this. All right, so now the dress is completely done. Here's all the stitch marks. I think it looks super cute. Okay, so that's all done. Now for the easy part, gonna add the stitches on these and I really only need to add them from like maybe here down and then just the sleeves because this is all gonna be covered and the top part of the legs and the waist is all gonna be covered by the dress. So let's get that done. All right, starting with the shirt, I'm just gonna do some like stitches across All right, so Sally's all done. Here's the pants. And then here are the sleeves on the shirt. So I think this will turn out well. Um, I'm Maybe I'll do like one down the front just cause I don't know how low the dress goes. So We'll just do one like that down the front. And then when I do her makeup up her neck, I'll just continue it up her neck. So that is all done. Sally's all done. The only thing I need to do left with Sally is when I put on Brooke's costume. 
um, is the face paint and the spray hair dye. Now, I am not going to be showing in this video the kids in their costumes um, just because time. I need to get this video out today. Um, but I will post pictures. I will post pictures tonight of them in their costumes. They're not going to have full makeup on their face, just a couple stitches. Um, and I'm going to just do circles on Moise's eyes and the smile on his mouth. And that is it. But on Halloween, I'm going to do the full face paint. Um, and I will post pictures on Halloween as well of them in their costumes. So, um, look for that in my community posts. Um, yeah. So, I do post a lot on my community posts, so make sure you're checking them out just to see, you know, updates and what's up and, yeah, the Halloween pictures. Alright, so now time for Jack's shirt. Now, he has a button, like, right here. Mine looks better with two, so I'm going to pan you down. Alright, so I haven't hot glued them yet, but I've cut these out of poster board. So, why is this leaking? Alright, my hot glue gun. I got this new, like, mini hot glue gun, and it's, like, leaking. But anyways. Oh. I'm going to... Now it's not coming out. There we go. So I'm just going to glue one button here. Right down the middle. Oop, that was too much. And then one button here. So that's what it looks like. I think that looks a lot better than the one button right there. And then we need to cut out the bat bow tie. So I have this black poster board right here. I don't have enough room right here to outline and cut it out. So I'm gonna do the outline off camera and then we can maybe cut it out together. I don't know. So um, I might end up just cutting it out by myself, but right now I need to trace the bat wings. All right, here we go. It's not perfect. I mean, I kind of like, I don't know what happened to it, but here is the bat. <laughs> bow tie that's gonna be really cute um i'm going to paint some little eyes and i think there's like little stripes down the wings so i'm gonna do that as well let that dry and then i will hot glue it onto the white part of the shirt Here we go, there's the bat bow tie. I mean, it does not look perfect in any way, but um, yeah, I think it'll look cute. So last thing to do is to do the coattails, which I need to paint them as well. So I just need to wait for, um, I'm gonna outline them, cut them out. Um, I'm gonna show you them, paint them, and then we'll just wait for everything to dry and then we will hot glue it all onto the shirt. Okay, while those are drying, let's get this guy on. We're gonna do it like right here. So it's gonna be glued on to this top part right here right there so i unplugged my glue gun let's plug that guy back in it might take a, f a few seconds for it to warm up ah, it's already pretty warm let's see So, out of these glue guns, I, I'm liking the bigger one from Walmart a lot better. Um, 
this one right here. It's got better control and the, um, it doesn't leak. And it just overall works a lot better, in my opinion, than this little one. And they were pretty much close to the same price. So, the only thing I was told is that it's hard to find regular sized glue sticks. So, let's get this guy right there. Ah, it looks so cute. Okay. So that's on. I don't know if the coattails are dry enough because I can still physically see some wet spots. So we'll have to wait a few minutes for that. But I'm going to show you the shirt. Here it is. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fine because it'll be against his chest. Maybe I should glue um, some of the other pieces down to the front, just so they don't, just so it doesn't pop up. So let's get both these sides down a little bit. <clears throat> Okay, that might stick better and it won't flop down. Let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. Ah, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for him to wear this. I'm definitely gonna get pictures tonight even though I'm not doing the full makeup. <clears throat> Just so that you guys can see what the costumes look like on. And then, like I said, on Halloween is gonna be the full face makeup and everything. So that's gonna be cute. So the tails have not dried yet. So I'm gonna wait a little bit. I'm gonna get a shower. I'm gonna get a shower. And then they should be dry after my shower and we'll glue them on then. Okay, so I will be back and then we'll be done and we can finish out this video. Ignore the towel, I just came out of the shower. But <laughs> So the shirt is done, all the costumes are done. So I don't know if I like the coattails that much, but I'm gonna try to just have them up a little bit. I'm going to see what they look like when they're on Royce. And if I don't like them, I'm probably end up just going to, to, to pull them off and just keep it the way it is. All right. So I know I said that I wasn't going to show them today, but I wanted to see what they looked like on. So here is Royce. Who are you, Royce? <laughs> and here's Brooke. They look so cute. Okay, let me show the back. Here's the little coattails. I'm gonna see if I can find a way to curl them a little bit so they look better. But I think they came out really, really nice. I'm impressed. And those are the costumes. I'm so excited with how they came out. Um, yeah, I worked really, really hard on those. So it definitely paid off, but yeah, that is everything. Let me know down in the comments what you think. If you think I did a good job, if you have any tips and tricks for maybe next time I make a Halloween costume, but yeah, that is everything. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. And if you haven't, or haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day and have a happy Halloween. Bye.